You want to be a seamstress? That's so old-fashioned. Well, Sewing. I won't Baking say you cookies. can't design clothes, Little but wouldn't you rather so do quite. something that's more... Uh, like, you don't even make clothes in America like anymore. Science? Are you gonna move to China? My name is Charlotte Carly Vanders. Ever since I was a little girl, I've wanted to be a fashion designer. I don't just love fashion. I love seeing people wearing my outfits and seeing how happy my hard work can make them. It can be hard when the bandwagon is all saying the same thing. Authority figures, teachers, celebrities, employers, strangers, all telling me what I should be, all pulling me in different directions. But if I'd listened to my heart, I'd have known from the beginning. Who'd been offering me the only advice I ever needed? A lot of folks are going to concern themselves with telling you to be something you're not. But all you got to focus on is being someone you are. My family. My friends. My maybe more than friends. <laughs> Even my maybe less than friends, they all helped me on my journey to becoming a fashionista and a superheroine. As to how that happened, I'll try to keep it brief. Here's how I became Common America. Done. When everyone on the USO tour sees these outfits I made, they'll recognize my potential as a fashion designer. Ah! Incredible! That meteorite impact turned me into some sort of human battery! I can use this to rebrand myself under a new persona. And I'll call myself... No! That name stinks! Either use the name we gave you, or don't come back till you come up with something that can get past our focus groups. Our agency's got a reputation to uphold, kid. Now what am I supposed to do? Hi everyone, my name is Carly Vanders, aspiring fashion designer, but the world knows me better as Common America, fighting fashionista. Here's the story of my first day of action. I did it! I dumped my stupid agent, rejected all corporate offers, and sacrificed my marketability. I can't believe I let them call me Warren. What a terrible name, but never again. I'm flying free now, baby! Yes siree! Nothing to guide me now but my grit and gumption. Nothing to fall back on but my raw talent and refined skill. Nothing can stop me now! Oh no! Monster attacks are once again on the uptick after a brief hiatus. The origin of these creatures is still a mystery. No one knows where they came from or why they pop up in certain states. Since they first appeared, the heroine formerly known as Warhen, now known as Common America, made herself famous by taking them down. Thus fueling speculation that attacks are an elaborate hoax orchestrated by media relations agency Lansky and Schultz. <laughs> <laughs> My first monster fight as Common America! Time to transform and make my debut! Fatal Lightning! I am Common America! And to prove the justice of our culture, I will vanquish you, monster! Uh, oh, oh no. The monster killed itself with its own lightning powers. Ah. Ahem. <clears throat> No need to fear, citizens. The monster has been vanquished by Common America. Wait, are you from the Cayman Islands or America? Funny, it's not Cayman America, but Common America. It's Japanese. So, you're Japanese American? I'm just using the word. Common means mask, like the thing on my face. Uh, yeah, that name isn't very intuitive. It's a good name. Lots of heroes use common. Haven't you seen? Hey, I just got here. What does Cayman mean? 
How are you people mispronouncing it? I'm saying it out loud. Hello, everybody. What a crazy day in the world of both local and national news. Local hero Charlotte Manders disrespected the citizens of Oscar today with a tense exchange. Maybe had she not changed her name from Warhen to Came in America, she could have avoided this particularly rude conversation. In other news... <laughs> Can I have your autograph, pretty please? Absolutely, sweetie. Who can I make this out to? Angelica, please. Aww. Hmm? You misspelled Warhead. <laughs> How are things going now that you're on your own? And now for tonight's Hero Watch Report. A rebranded heroine makes her debut, Common America. Previously known as Warhen, she was recently fired by Lansky and Schultz Media Relations. To quote Mr. Nero Lansky, the firing is due to insubordination, inattentiveness, indolence, and inadequacy. And, and... Hey, does that say incompetence or incontinence? I can't believe it! That's the best media coverage I've gotten yet! Now it's time to meet Common Common, second member of the Common Core. Here's how we- I'll tell it! My name is Misha Lokakova. My family controls Ningen, the world's most renowned soldiers of fortune. For centuries, the Lovakovas have used Ningen to profit from conflict on all sides. As a result, I am the heiress to a dynasty of mercenaries. Or you would be, if your big sister Kanina wasn't always one-upping you. Shut up, Carly! The truth is that after a lifetime of training, my heart just wasn't in the business. For the first time ever, I didn't know where I was going or what I was doing. But then it hit me. in that meteor. Some kind of radiation. It changed me. Gave me an edge. Made me special. I became Meteor Misha. I'd finally surpassed my sister and was Ningen's MVP. But everything was still the same. I still didn't like what I was doing. And I still didn't know what to do. And that's when you met me. Come in America. <laughs> then I beat the crap out of you. You could have just left that part out, Misha. When Carly heard what I was doing, she tried to stop me. I'll admit, she was doing okay. Until the time limit on her powers ran out. Hey, the care tag says made by Misha. Oh my gosh, are you a fashion designer too? Uh, yeah, I, I guess. Do you wanna quit being scary and make clothes with me? M maybe. And become my super-powered partner in monster fighting heroics? Yeah, I guess. Wait, wait, what? No, I didn't... Too late! And that's how I became a duo with Common Comet. Wasn't I telling the story? Tonight on Hero Watch, following in the steps of Warhen, now Common America, Ice Tosterone and Marmot Maiden have broken ties with Lansky and Schultz Media. Jeez, I did most of my mercenary work abroad. What's all the superheroes and freaks in this country? Ooh, watch this. It's an orientation video that your Glansky made back when I still worked for him. Is that a VHS tape? He said that DVDs wouldn't last because people don't like transitioning to new media. Anyway, this tape should explain everything. Hey there, I'm Nero Lansky of Lansky & Schultz Media Relations. We specialize in exploiting all sorts of talents including the newest hotness, PPCs. What's a PPC you ask? Can you conjure snow cones out of thin air? Or talk to rats or groundhogs or whatever this chick does? Well, this makes you a PPC. 
public powered citizen. There are thousands of PPCs in the United States alone. They're nothing special, you're nothing special. But you can be if you utilize the promotion and influence of Lansky and Schultz Media Relations. Non disclosure agreements mandatory prior to consultation. Consultation is $10 per minute. Refunds are prohibited. Many PPCs take up a career in the rewarding field of super heroics. What's that I hear? But Mr. Lansky, what's rewarding about helping people? The answer is simple. Profit! With a public identity, you can qualify to open a Come Save Me account. Citizens can donate to this taxable account either in gratitude for your services or to support future heroic endeavors or to reserve special perks and privileges. Just ask the latest Lanskin Schultz sensation, Warhand. <laughs> That's right, Carly. Every Come Save Me donation to one of our firm's heroes comes with a free Warhand sash made from 100% real polaradics. Sashes may be years late to deliver as the professional norm. No refunds. As a hero represented by Lansky and Schultz, there are big bucks waiting for you, and we only ask for a 45% commission. Don't believe me? Here's a word from America's most beloved powered public citizen. Slamphibious Rex. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Mike, come save me fun pulls in six figures a week. I'm the best. For God's sake, help me! It's not an opinion, it's a fact. Suck it, haters. I called you two hours ago. I donated $1,500 to you last year. You bloated. Don't tell me what to do, you. You don't give me deadlines. You can be patient or have a refund. I'm working every minute of, uh, every day to save your life. Quality heroics takes time. Anyone can, uh, crap out an average rescue. But this is important because I'm the best. You want the best rescue, all right? Yes, sir. I'm sorry. Ugh, fine. Oh? Your whining is so cringy. Thank you, Slamphibious. That was awesome. Holy worth the wait. You're the... Uh, if you want to thank me, you can donate to my Come Save Me. Super fan, dear. I put out all the fires. Phew, the pets are safe. Huh? Oh, uh, yeah, that's great. Small time, but keep at it and you'll make it among the kings someday. Just uh, remember that saving people isn't about the quantity, uh, it's about the quality. That's the spirit, Slamphibious. So if you're a PPC, come join Lansky and Schultz. And just for 45%, you can be a major leaguer. <laughs> Consider that an example of what not to do. What the heck? The groundhog could turn into a wheelbarrow? This is the story of my first day as Cayman Comet. There's a reason you aren't hearing about it until now. What? I thought it was epic. So, now that we're a duo, we need to announce our transformations with a cool catchphrase. What do you think of, let's get changed? How about let's get going? This is where the monster was spotted. Aren't they supposed to be big? They're massive, but they're also tricky and can sneak up on you, so be on your- Carly, I'm a seasoned soldier of fortune of countless campaigns in the most inhospitable, war-torn, dystopian regions of the world. Nothing sneaks up on me. Monster so weird. Really? It seems kind of derivative compared to the other ones I fought. Oh, and Misha. Bring it on. I can counter any energy attack. <laughs> Watch out for the sound effects. This is dumb. I'll make quick work of you. Sickle and stun. The debut of monster fighting partner Common Comet was marred today, as she suffered from what only can be described as a violently psychotic breakdown. I'm sorry, Misha. Media coverage can be really mean and unfair to us. Are you kidding? I looked awesome! No one's gonna mess with us now. Papa, can I be a skeleton when I grow up? You can be anything you want to be, dear. 
but uh, you are already a skeleton. Ramen? Father, can I go to medical school and study skeletons? You can be anything you want to be, dear. But medical school entrance exams are very difficult. Ramen? <sighs> Meteor son, will you help me pass my exams? Senpai, please teach me your secrets. Secrets? For fashion design? No, for how to get my life together. Burger? And that's how I became Common Ramen. And with Carly Senpai as my mentor, I can't possibly fail. Th that's right, Kimmy. Oh no. <laughs> Writer, here's my first Japanese adventure. <laughs> Six orders to show you, and all the cash you got. This stuff belongs to my Muzu. Seltzer Striker! This neighborhood does not belong to you. It is huh? a place of wholesome, huh? nourishing goodness, like a steaming cup of Kanako chan instant feast on a snowy winter's day. This place and all its citizens are under the protection of Nautical Noodle Idol, Ramen Rider. Lame. Kimmy chan Oh, hello, Father. Wasn't that a great show? Are you all right? Those pikers could have killed you. <laughs> what? It was just a promotional. Kimmy chan You went to the wrong ramen stand. <laughs> what am I doing with my life? I don't want to be a mascot or beat up mimes. I just want to be a radiologist and look at skeletons all day. I'm so lost. <laughs> uh, now I know just who can help me. Hello, I'm Kimiko Kaneko. Here's the story of my first day as Common Ramen. Let's look at my second day as common ramen instead. <laughs> that was a rough week. Maybe you should tell us a different story. I'm Sylvia Prestige, aka Common Victory. But you can call me Best Girl. Here's my origin. Carly and I have known each other practically our whole lives. Elementary school. <laughs> middle school. <sighs> and high school. We weren't exactly friends. <laughs> but that's all behind us now. <laughs> I know I sometimes rub people the wrong way, but I don't mean to, really. All my life, I've loved two things. Video games and helping people. So when Lansky and Schultz approached me with the offer to be a hero, I jumped at the chance. Though I wasn't sure why they chose me or where they got the armor. But it didn't matter. After mastering the armor's controls, I became Common Yuin, Defender of the World. And then I gave Carly a beating. <laughs> Why does this keep happening? After our little spat, Carly and I realized that we'd known each other for so long, we couldn't remember what grinded our gears in the first place. It dawned on us that just because we weren't friends before, that didn't mean we couldn't be friends now. So, with the help of Carly's other friends at, uh, Area 51, I was able to get some new armor and rebrand myself as... Common Victory! Fashion model, best girl, and armored maiden. Here to vanquish you in style. What type of fashion model poses like that? So, Sylvia, <laughs> what was your first adventure as Cayman Victory? Misha, don't you remember? Everyone was there. <laughs> 
When I took on that pack of deadly chupacabras, my skill and victory armor working in perfect harmony, I sealed their doom in no time. Hey, that's not how it happened. Hmm? Miss Sylvia, that wasn't your first adventure. Your first one was with me, remember? No, I can't tell them that story. Oh, okay, Sylvia. I can tell it for you. Let's hear it, Kimmy. It all began with my delivery to Miss Sylvia. Wow! So this is what Carly wanted me to deliver to you. Is this the March 2nd Victory Armor? It looks so cool! I made a few cosmetic suggestions for the upgrade. It should handle identically to my old armor. There are just a few control schemes I'm gonna need to get the hang up. Ah! Oh my gosh, Kimiko, I'm so sorry! It's okay, Miss Sylvia. <laughs> <laughs> A monster has been sighted near Lake Oscar. Let's go. But Miss Sylvia, Carly and Miss Misha are still in Orlando. Can we stop it by ourselves? Relax, Kimiko. I was a solo act before I joined the Common Core. I could handle this monster all by myself. <laughs> uh, no, I want a flamethrower, not a lighter. What noob configured these controls? Geyser Gauntlet! Aha! Got it! Kimmy, out of the way! Victory Volley! My first victory as common victory! Here, let me help you up. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Miss Sylvia, please stop cutting me! <laughs> uh, what a fiasco. Miss Sylvia, can I tell you something? You were absolutely terrible today! Hmm? But you can only get better. Mm. And she has gotten better. Well, she hasn't gotten any worse. G. Huh? The Florida Floor Cape ambushed me at our hotel room in Orlando, then vanished. Whatever your secrets are, I'll get to the bottom of them. <laughs> Fireproof monster, what else could? Huh? Ah! Yeah. What the heck are you? You're Florida Floyd. No, I mean, how are you alive? You gave me life. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Shut up, shut up, shut up! Yes! Uh, uh. Get off of my foot! No! What do you want? What are you doing? Powering you up! Are you serious? Yeah! Uh, okay, Freak Show. Let's do this. Yeah! Come oh, on, oh, Flaming Floor Kick! Hmm... You've only recently activated your powers, and the Chimaritine energies within you have not yet settled. The hot radiation could have unintended effects on animals and objects, so be mindful, how you? You can tell me about it later. I gotta go meet Carly in Orlando. I've got something for her. Hey. <laughs> well, that's about it. Ah. Uh -huh. But... but why did you do it if you knew you weren't fireproof? So long, and then throw the fish! I'm so sorry I'm late, Misha. Wait, did you beat the monster by yourself? 
No. I had help from a friend. Stupid headlines making me look like a psycho. <gasps> Get out of the street, lady. You're blocking traffic. Come in America? Wow, I love your outfit. Oh, hi, Florida girl. I've heard about you on the news. Well, I hope you don't believe everything they say. Hey, I know what it's like to do the right thing, even when nobody understands or appreciates you. But remember, we uphold the American way. That means fighting for freedom, no matter what. <sighs> yeah! I know what'll cheer us up. Let's get some ice cream! <sighs> Kevin America and Florida Girl stole McDonald's kitchen to prove ice cream machine not broken. Liars! They're out lying! Burning justice! justice. And that's why we're late. Sorry, folks. Getting out of Florida jail isn't as easy as you might think. You were late because you wanted to visit SeaWorld, Multiversal Studios, and Neon Field World. Florida is the best. Manatees. Here in Florida, there is a protected habitat where guests can swim with them. And I, Common America, am excited to encounter these national treasures. And Florida Girl is here to be your guide. Okay, ladies, before we can get on the boat, you'll need to watch this state-mandated safety video. These are actual delinquents caught on camera. Just avoid what they're doing and you'll be fine out there. <laughs> Thank you for choosing Crystal Zola Manatee Adventures. Fun awaits you as you swim with those gentle giants, the Florida Manatee. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh! I'm so excited! As the manatee is protected by the Florida Manatee Sanctuary Act of 1978, it is unlawful for any person at any time intentionally or negligently to annoy, molest, harass, or disturb any manatee. <laughs> Please practice passive observation while in the manatee habitat. <laughs> Do not separate a manatee cow from her calf. Do not attempt to snag, hook, hold, grab, pinch, hit, or ride a manatee. Why would you do that? Hey, that last one was self-defense! Well, Common America, you said you wanted to see the best theme parks America has to offer. What do you think of Florklando Studios? It's the coolest theme park in Florida. Eh, uh, it's no Neon Feld World, and it's definitely not anywhere near Disney. <laughs> yeah, those places might be flashier, but Florklando Studios permits alcohol in the park after 3 p.m. It's 9 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> hey, you smile, you son of a- Hey! I love you so much. You're my best friend. <laughs> These marshmallows are so cool! Mmm! Before Clifford! Do you want me to talk her down? Whatever you do, make it quick. It's almost 3 o'clock. Here you go, Pumpkin. Watch some Neon Feld and Associates while your mom and me fix supper. Neon Felt? I'm indifferent towards Wednesdays. Now you felt you're so cute and funny, I love you! Siggy, wake up! This is the one where Ninefeld nails Nyarma to Topikistan. For the last time, Carly, we have to go fight a monster. I want Spanakopita. Hmm.
badger memes. Badger! Pipe badger. Badger thrown out of the window. Badger minus badger. Oh, I wonder what Badger dreams about. I don't even know this doggy plus still in the mid-theater of Flauge. It does exist! A wild Neonfeld appeared. Go, Nyarmal! Nyarmal uses parody and satire. It was super sufficient. Is that an original Neonfeld orange cartridge? Ah, so retro! Ugh, stop distracting me! I'm trying to speedrun this! I hate those Japanese Neonfeld games. They draw him so off-model. <laughs> We sincerely apologize for the sixth consecutive week of Neonfeld Comics. Please consider this episode non-canon. Carly, have you decided? Do you want a kitty or a doggy? I remember my first dog. Named him Nash after my hometown. I want a Neonfeld! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure we can find an animal like that. Why not? I bet they have one. Huh? Neonfeld is exotic. Right, Daddy? I think they misspelled piss. Exotic pits? We got them, mister. We got all kinds. We got hedgehogs. We got, a uh, Tasmanian devils. And we even got a... Oh yeah! We even got a badger! Wow! Doesn't look like a badger I ever saw. I'll level with you, mister. I got time to feed the animals and clean up after them. But I don't got time to play with them. <gasps> Since my brother Marcelo passed away, I promised to give his animals and their litters a full life. But I got a feeling that if he goes with you folks... <laughs> you live his best life. I shouldn't spoil Kimiko-chan by making her breakfast like this. But today is a big day, and she needs plenty of energy. Kimiko-chan, your breakfast! I'm sorry, Papa, I overslept! At least have some toast. I can't be late for my first day at Common Academy! I just can't! I had to take the Common Academy entrance exam 73 times just to make it onto the waiting list. And I only got in because the entrance ahead of me was hit by a truck and went to Isokai Academy instead. Oh, I must be the only student stupid enough to oversleep on the first day of school! <laughs> My name's Carly. I heard Common Academy has the best fashion classes in the world. I'm Kimiko, and it's true. They have many specialized classes. I'm taking skeleton class with an emphasis on schools. I am so nervous! What are American high schools like? Japanese schools can be pretty tough if you know what I mean. No need to worry. I'm sure the school is very safe. Huh? Sup, nerds? <gasps> you don't sound American! I'm Kimiko from Japan! Where are you from? Huh? Me and my sister Kanina are from one of those European countries no one's heard about. Name's Misha, by the way. Hello, Misha. This is my new friend, Carly Senpai. <laughs> Hello. I'm Carly from... well, from here. Could it be? The renowned wonder kind of Oscar Indiana herself? Huh? Allow me to introduce myself. Sylvia Prestige. Indiana's gift to the world of fashion. It looks like we're going to be rivals, Carly. 
<laughs> oh, great. Oh, no! I just read the Seven Wonders of Common Academy. Number three says every student must join an after-school club on their first day. Or they'll die. Also, this text message is haunted. What do we do, Carly Senpai? We... we could start our own club, but we need four members. <laughs> Ow! Siggy! Cut! Sorry, Carly. I don't understand the script at all. Is this show really a good idea? You're the one who took Kimmy's idea of appealing to a Japanese audience. I thought we were making a cartoon! <clears throat> Is my script good, Miss Misha? Mm, good enough for public access, I guess. Yay! Any access is good access! Kimmy has a point. We aren't very popular with the public right now, but this Common Academy show could really boost our PR. If anyone, <laughs> Carly M, needs some acting advice, I've been in over a dozen commercials. Yeah, for foot cream. Well, if we want to get optioned, we better start editing. Let's start at the very beginning. <laughs>